Hello, welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, it's going to be very simple. I'm going to detail how to make Windows stop spying on you. Yeah, I'm saying you via host file method. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We going dark. Okay, since Windows 8, Microsoft has moved to a new commercial strategy. In addition with traditional selling of OS licenses started, uh, got revenues from searches, apps, and games. But to do this, MS has started the collection of telemetry data considered by many users as privacy relevant. So what is Windows 10 telemetry? According to a Z, uh, ZDNet article, Microsoft defines telemetry as system data that is uploaded by the connected user experience and telemetry component, also known as the universal telemetry telemetry client or UTC service, right? Microsoft uses telemetry data from Windows 10 to identify security and reliability issues, to analyze and fix software problems, to help improve the quality of Windows and related services, and to make design decisions for future releases. Telemetry features aren't unique to Microsoft and there's nothing particularly secret about them. They're part of a larger trend in the software industry to collect and analyze event data as part of a shift to data-driven decision-making. To the delight of privacy conscience users, there are a lot of tutorials and suggestions focused on avoid or rather reduce the gathering of information collected from Windows 10 using tools like peer blog, personal firewalls, network devices like Pi-hole. So in my opinion, a good trade-off may be a simple change on the host file. What is a host file? The host file is used to map host names to IP addresses and its data overrides the results of DNS queries. It's a plain text file located in the Windows folder at the start at the following path, right? The Windows System 32 drive set C, right? So a customized host file, usually uh, I use a customized host file created by EncryptThePlanet.com. The file was realized at analyzing with Wireshark a dump of outgoing traffic of a brand new Windows 10 installation. Obviously, this is not a final solution. According to the ETP notes, you should also be aware this host file will block certain functions and services like Bing Search, Cortana, and OneCloud. Windows updates will still be able to download. Windows 10 does communicate directly to IP addresses, which bypass the host file. You would also have to block Microsoft's IP address Windows 10 communicates with. So how to install the custom file? Four steps. Open the link. Uh, number two, start with administrative rights, a notepad, but notepad++ is better and open the host file in uh, the C Windows System 32 driver set host. Peter put that on the screen as well. Number three, replace the original host content with the text copied at step one. S number four, save the file and restart your system. Now here is another method, right? So how to limit what Microsoft logs through telemetry. If you don't want to disable telemetry entirely, you can allow Microsoft to collect only the most vital data. If you're running the Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition, this is your only option because Microsoft doesn't allow disabling telemetry for Home Edition users. Only users running the Enterprise Educational Professional Editions of Windows 10 or 11 are or users running Windows Server 2016 or later can completely disable telemetry. To limit data collection, on Windows, you, you'll need to change the settings so that Microsoft stops collecting optional data. Start by pressing the Win uh, plus I and navigate to Privacy and Security, which is the Diagnostics and Feedback. Toggle the button beside Send Optional Diagnostic Data Off. Once you do this, Microsoft will only collect data about your hardware, system settings, and whether your system is functioning properly. On the other hand, if you allow Microsoft to collect optional data as well, it will collect all diagnostic data. This includes the apps you use, website you access, and other data relevant for troubleshooting. So how to disable telemetry using the Group Policy Editor? While there are several other ways to disable telemetry, this is the simplest one. Of course, this method works only if you're running Windows 10, 11 Enterprise, Education or Professional Editions or Windows Server 2016 and later. To launch the Group Policy Editor, press the Win plus R, type gpedit dot msc and press enter. Use the left sidebar to navigate to the computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, data collection and preview builds. Switch to the right pan and double click allow diagnostic data. Note that if you're if you're on Windows 10 and not Windows 11, you'll see allow telemetry as a listed setting instead of allows diagnostic data. Once you double click, a window should pop up. By default, it's set to not configured. Select disabled instead of 
uh, st select disable instead and click OK. So here is how to disable telemetry using register editor. You can also use the window registry to disable telemetry. However, always be sure to back up your registry before making any changes. Fixing registry errors is usually not difficult, but a few errors can render your PC unusable. Note that like the previous methods, this method won't dis disable telemetry on Windows 10 and 11 home editions. To launch the reg registry editor, press Win plus R, type uh, regit edit and press enter. Navigate to the H key local machine software and then right click the white space in the right pane and select new D word 32 bit value, right? Name the value allow telemetry. Double click on the new value, insert value data as zero and click OK. Once you're done, exit the registry editor, restart the PC. So here's how to disable telemetry by disabling its service. The telemetry feature relies on a Windows service that starts automatically every time you turn on your PC. When you disable the service, you essentially have disabled telemetry as well. To launch the services console, press the Win plus R, type services.msc and press enter. Search for service name, connected user experiences and telemetry. Double click on the service to launch service properties. Stay in the general tab and change start up type to disable. Click OK. Next, look the look for another service name device management wireless application protocol, the WAP. Push message routing services. Disable it the same way. Restart your PC and you're done. You can also use the command prompt to disable these services if you don't want to spend time looking for these services. Press Win plus R, type command and press Control plus Shift plus Enter to launch the command prompt as an administrator. Then run the following commands one by one. One. And then you know you're gonna have the blah, 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 and then start equals disabled. When you're done, restart the PC and you'll have disabled data collection on your PC. So here is how to disable telemetry using the task scheduler. Another way to disable telemetry is through the task scheduler. All you need to do is disable a few tasks on the task scheduler and you'll have effectively disabled telemetry. Search the start menu for task scheduler and open the best match from the left side bar. Navigate to task scheduler library, then Microsoft, then Windows, then customer experience uh, improvement program. Disable the task name consolidator. Repeat the process for all other tasks in this location. Once you've disabled both tasks, restart your PC. So let's let's talk about this. Is it safe to disable telemetry? Yes, there is no inherent risk to disabling uh, telemetry. Microsoft uses telemetry to collect data from users with a goal to improve user experience with future updates. The telemetry system has so far been accepted as a legitimate way of enhancing the Windows experience. However, it does collect data. If you're uncomfortable with any type of data collection, disable, disabling telemetry isn't going to affect your experience in any way. You, you'll continue to receive updates like usual. Of course, in some cases, disabling telemetry isn't an option. For instance, if you're using, uh, if you're on Windows 10 or 11 Home Edition, you can still disable the collection of optional data, which means Microsoft will, <clears throat> will only collect the data it needs to keep the operating system ticking over. Disabling telemetry in Windows 10 and 11, it's important to keep your data private in this new digital age, but it's hard to do so when even our operating systems are beaming information back home. Now you know how to disable telemetry in Windows 10 and 11. Also, there are a ton of other privacy settings on Windows 11 that you should look at if you want to, you know, if you want to have complete privacy. So what do you think about my methods, uh, the methods that I've shown to you? Do you have better methods? Do you think uh, one method is obsolete? Please let me know. I want to know your, your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please share the comment section. Please hit subscribe. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.